Last year, the country's exports hit a record high, a welcome development mainly driven by a boom in semiconductors. Unfortunately, that trend isn't expected to carry over to 2018. Cha sang -mi highlights the challenges ahead and some viable solutions. Korea's traditional growth engine exports set a new record last year. The trade ministry announced Monday that the country's total outbound shipments for 2017 jumped nearly 16 percent on year to nearly 574 billion U.S. dollars. That's the largest total amount for a single year since data was first compiled in 1956. Imports also surged 17.7 percent to a little over 478 billion. For the year, Korea posted a surplus of 95.8 billion dollars, up from 89.2 billion in 2016. Shipments from Korea accounted for 3.6 percent of all global exports, bringing the country's ranking to sixth place from eighth the year before. Most of Korea's main products, nine out of 13 product types, saw a rise in shipments. Semiconductors accounted for nearly 60 percent of the year's exports, followed by petroleum goods at over 30 percent, and then petrochemicals and ships. And it was a landmark year for memory chips, shipments of which reached $90 billion for the year, more than the country's total exports back in 1994. The trade ministry said Korea has diversified its export markets, reaching out to countries in Southeast Asia, Central and South America, India and the Commonwealth of Independent States, and seeing large jumps in export growth to these regions in 2017. We would like to find a new trade market away from the China and U.S. centered trade. Through the new South policy and the new North policy, we will strive to expand our trade map. Yet the prospects for this year don't look quite as dazzling. The trade ministry expects a 4 percent growth in exports in 2018, but highlighted a few risk factors that could hit growth rates. Financial uncertainty stemming from monetary normalization in major economies and a rise in global protectionism could slow export growth. But while Korea may face a stronger local currency, higher interest rates, rising oil prices and geopolitical risks, the trade ministry promised to strive hard to attain 4 percent export growth for 2018. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.